Have a good afternoon to you. John Verlin on Demand Advertising Solutions with another digital marketing update. Had a nice email uh, come in yesterday from a lady named Emily in South Kansas City, Missouri, and I just want to quickly share it with you. Uh, commented, she, her son referred a link from, a, I guess, a social media post I had. Went to my website, checked it out, thought the caught you looking video <laughs> was cute, um, was curious about the some of the animated video stuff I'm uh, talking about as well as some of the podcasting, was kind of curious about that. She hadn't really thought about it, said it may be, you know, something that they may want to question for her business for next year as far as their direction of marketing. Is it expensive? Does it take long to produce, et cetera, et cetera? Uh, well, thank you, Emily, for the comments and the email. But in a nutshell, uh, that particular video at the bottom of there, the website is 21 seconds. It's a simple video, nothing fancy. Most of these animated videos test well. That's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why we include them on the site, as well as the one, uh, there's one below that you can click on and see um, Small Business Marketing Too Hard, I believe it's called. All of these have tested well, but it's also rich content that the search engines now and customers are finding appealing. So it's why we recommend this. Now, I know a lot of marketing firms have a whole array of things they can do, you know, for your business. It all comes down to your budget, what you really need. But uh, what I try to focus on as a niche is creating the content that's rich, rich uh, content, and then also promoting through social media and or social media marketing or assisting with any marketing, really, uh, whether it's your radio or TV or print or whatever, it all works together. But it's building that marketing platform that's so critical for any business to promote anything. That's why I focus so much on it and sort of choose to zero in and find a niche of content with promotion uh, to tie in everything else you're doing because it's so critical. And I guess if there was a bullseye, it would be creating quality content, just like that quote that's posted there on the blog post from Thomas Euler. He hit the nail on the head because this is becoming more and more important from every standpoint. Think of it as when you see a new video offering from Netflix and they send you an email or they, they're doing the same thing. They got new content. They want to promote it and want you to watch it. And they rank it, review it, share it, do whatever they can do to get people to sign up for Netflix using that content. So it's it's the same concept. That's why the one link on our page there about making your business into a Hollywood studio and we'll partner with you, that's really what that's all about, is turning your business into a Hollywood studio. We help you build that and promote it because you're doing the same thing. It's now, though, the video is becoming more uh, appealing and impressive and useful and ranked than just text. Well, that leads into an <laughs> um, email I got yesterday from Manta in a post by Savannah Paver about uh, how to get listed, four things to do to get listed on Google, the, some of the best things you can do. It's, it's kind of common sense stuff, but you need to know if you're not doing it. And I know a lot of business owners haven't even built a website, but this is what she says, and it's kind of rehashing what I've been saying, but she does a good job of summarizing Number one, create a Google My Business listing. If you haven't done that, you can go onto Google, type in Google My Business. They bring up a, a thing you can fill in. Um, have a company website. Have social media profiles. Well, a lot of businesses don't see the value, but do it. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And then a well-maintained blog. Those four things. She says it by extending your business online presence across these platforms there's a podcast I have on why to use multiple platforms. Well, it shows Google that you're actively pushing out important, valuable content everywhere that customers are looking for it. That's why multiple platforms, website, blog, social media, uh, Google, everything you can possibly do to build a marketing platform, that's what I call that, so that Google can see it, but so can your prospects. You're all over the place, and they see it. They're like, wow. All that does is add credibility, and it allows you to expose your expertise, which is what all this is about. 
Now, it's vital your business doesn't drop off the grid, she says, on any of these crucial platforms. Engaging your followers, for example, on social media and visitors to your website, providing them with useful content, it's one of the most important practices your businesses can take. And a blog makes it easy to do that. Today, they're looking more for, and that's why we do this, as you mentioned with uh, the Caught You Looking video we have, is the rich media. Uh, that's becoming more valued as more and more customers are using video and enjoying video, and Google's ranking that as well. Now, she talks about speaking Google's language. Site, your website may look good, but she talks about uh, making sure that when it, the search engines crawl the Internet looking for a specific code, it helps them understand and index websites. That's what Google has. They're called, I believe, spiders. Uh, make sure your website utilizes these best practices to make it search engine optimized. You've heard of SEO and all that. Well, a lot of business owners struggle to build a quality website because they don't have the time, the experience, or the money. And in these cases, she says, always good to have a, an SEO professional that can help get things in motion. A website developer, make sure your website contains necessary elements like a sitemap, robots.txt, meta tags, and more. Now, a lot of the, keep in mind, a lot of things are platform based today. And a lot of the platform based Google site, uh, WordPress, they have some of this already built in. Okay, this stuff used to be more separate from a website, but today a lot of it's kind of built in. You can get it when you pay more of a little higher fee for the website. Um, it's sort of built into this. Support keywords with quality content. Well, used to be known as keyword stuffing. Everybody may be familiar with this, but too many business owners, uh, she talks about, stuff their website with these keywords. And they don't take the time to write valuable content that uses these keywords. So unlike in the past, Google doesn't respond well to keyword stuffing. So she says, just like Mr. Euler says in that infographic on the blog post, dedicate your time and effort to writing high-quality content that showcases your expertise in your industry. Concentrate on creating quality, long-format content that is well-linked internally and liberally uses the keywords you like to rank for. Okay, and that's according to Larissa Pickens, who owns Float Design. Okay, so support keywords. It, it comes down to the keywords. They even call them long-tail keywords, phrases that people are using to search. Instead of saying, you know, lawn, lawnmower service, it's um, lawnmower services and repair in my area, a longer phrase. It's putting those kind of phrases in your content. Um, but to get uh, step back from all this, and the bullseye again is your quality content. Don't get too wrapped up in I got to stuff keywords in. I got to step back and think, what do my customers want? Answer things in video or video podcast or however you want to do it with their perspective. And this is why we recommend doing customer surveys starting out to gain an, an entry into the mind of your customer. This is what machine learning is doing and will be doing, as mentioned in the podcast we did yesterday about AI for next year and machine learning. All this is trying to gauge customer content, customer reviews, customer needs, desires to create markings and markable uh, goals for businesses to achieve in making sure the bottom line is the customer experience, making sure that customer experience is great. That's what it's all about. And finally, she says consistency is key. It's not just for your customers and prospects to see that you're live, alive and well and your site's functioning, your blog's functioning, you're on social media on a regular basis, but it shows Google that you're active in managing your company's online presence. So when you diligently maintain your company's information and make corrections, updates, respond to all the customer reviews, make sure all information is identical everywhere, uh, it will look good to Google and promote confidence for your prospects when they research your company. Again, it comes down to when they look locally and check you out, you want it all to be consistent, and that consistency is key. So you want to, you know, provide all this accurate information, your operating hours, your holiday hours, photos, maps, everything's accurate. 
you know, your site's the official website. Uh, all of this can help optimize your site with the high-quality content, maintaining consistency across the multiple platforms we talked about, and that's where a lot of your customers are going to go to look about your business and look for your business, and that will in turn increase organic search ranking on Google. I've said a lot, but that she summarized that really well, I think, of what I've been trying to say over a number of podcasts of why all this content is so important because it's seen throughout online land, I guess you could call it. So thank you again for the email, Emily. Um, hope you got something out of this. Uh, but yeah, step back for your plans for next year. Take a look at maybe you should do some videos, maybe some animated videos. Uh, there are platforms you can do them on. Uh, depends on you know the time, money, whatever you have. And this is where the creativity kind of comes into. Um, there's a lot of techie type things you can do, but you got to have fun. And the customer experience has to have fun. Don't forget that because they want to be engaged in what you're talking about. They want to get something from it, but they want to do it in a entertaining manner. And that's what we're finding and why we are promoting the animated videos like we do in the video podcast. John Verlin12 at ATT.net is my email. Comments or questions. Thank you again, Emily, for your comments. And uh, online on the online website is on demand advertisement solutions.com and you have a great day.